Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mama Cece here with Vivini J. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing the Influencer Flare Me Hair Challenge. So I wanted to take you guys along and show you guys all the free products that they sent me at home to try out and test for them. So today we're going to be doing that and Vivian is going to be my little assistant and help me be entertained meanwhile we wait for the hair dye to stick. So to begin, um, I started off by brushing my hair. You're supposed to brush it so that way you don't have any knots in your hair that are going to end up making the hair dye come out strange. So first, don't forget, go ahead and <laughs> brush your hair and get everything ready. So I started off by getting like an old shirt that I don't care about. And that way if I get dye on it, I really don't care. So next let me go set up my station so I can show you guys what I'm gonna deal with. Okay, so now it's time for me to start dyeing my hair. I got some Vaseline and put it around my scalp um, to help, you know, to not get um, stained. So I put it like around my ears so the hair dye won't stick and around like the back of my neck. Anywhere where you think that you might get some hair dye on, you don't want to put that on so you won't get all messed up. I know my ears look ugly because I took all my plugs. And I highly recommend taking off like if you have a necklace on or earrings because you of course don't want them to get dyed. So now here's my setup. I have this little bowl here that they sent me, a part of the box, to mix the hair dye in. Then they give me these gloves and also two hair dyes, the cream solution and the hairbrush thing to dye your hair with. So I'll go ahead and make the hair dye. I'll be back. Okay, so I just read the instructions on this and it says to mix one part of this with one part of um, developer. But the thing is that if I put this in there, how am I going to refill this up to put one part of developer? So I don't know like really like how much I should mix with it, but I'm going to see if I can find out how much this is and then I'll just throw in that much developer. Hopefully it works. So. I have mixed the solution, this is what it looks like, um, with what I believe is one part of the hair dye and one part of the developer, and it looks kind of like an orangey, like pinky, glittery color, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I hope they're not trying to mess up my hair, because I will be furious. Let me go ahead and try to mix the second part now. I'll be right back. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now that I have completely mixed everything. But I am not a professional. I do not know how I should be correctly doing this. So if any steps I take or anything I do is wrong, please do not laugh. But okay, I'm going to show you guys the finished product. Look at that. Ooh. Honestly, it looks like a <laughs> nice little peach color, so I'm excited how it's going to look when I put it on. So next, I'm going to move over there by the mirror so I could apply it to my hair. Woo! We're doing big things today. Yeah! Okay, for this part, you're going to want to go ahead and put your gloves on because you don't want to look like what you did. And also, you're going to need a hair tie to tie up your hairs. So, um, I'm doing this in my room. That's very dangerous because if you drop some like on your floor, you will probably stain your floor. So wait. So if I were you, I would keep like a wipey handy dandy somewhere to the side. So if you drop some real quick and you just wanna wipe it up, you just grab this wipe and go and just whoa, wipe it up. Okay, so now we're gonna get started. So I did brush my hair earlier, but I'm gonna go grab my brush over there. My hair gets really tangled really fast, so 
to keep this handy to go through any hairs that are misbehaving, okay? So I'm gonna start off by just like getting my lower section of hairs from the back because I have used to have an undercut and my under hairs are actually shorter. So you're probably gonna wanna have a couple of hair ties handy for this so you can put your extra hairs up, you know. One for the ones that ain't done and one for the ones that are done. It's like a song, okay? So I have this hair here. I'll go ahead and brush it. This is gonna be a mess. Just a mess. It's so much easier when someone does it for you because you can just have like a towel like on like behind your neck and they can just you know apply it. So like I said guys, I'm not professional so don't laugh at my techniques. But just gotta make sure I get all my hairs wet it up with this dye. Look at that, I'm already starting to get all messy. This is scary. Oh my boyfriend. He does this so good. And it smells horrible guys. Horrible. So I did this strand. I'm gonna go ahead and just toss it to the back because I put Vaseline on my under neck already so that way if it gets stained it's just gonna get a little bit. Go ahead and 